Hi guys, this is Erica, the little princess there. <laughs> and in today's video, I want to talk about the importance of persisting in your mental diet and your new state of mind. And yeah, we'll talk about it in a little bit. But before we start, I want to let you know that we are giving away a free course called How to Find Your Blogs to Manifest Anything Fast. All the details are down below. Also, if you would like to work with me one on one, I would love to help you. I am really good at finding the blocks, the reasons why you're manifesting that situation that you do not want. And I'll give you a plan of action to manifest exactly what you desire and what's already yours. Because remember, creation is finished and it's already there waiting for you to claim it. And um, yeah, be open to receive it, right? Um, and also super exciting. I just recently got like um, some feedback from one of my tracks, the the one for um, affirmations to manifest commitment. This person was in a situationship. Of course, she was tired of it. She will complain about it, but she started using the the affirmations. She will listen to them uh, throughout the day, and um, she started seeing changes in this person. He was sweeter. He was. <laughs> He will hang out with her more and he finally told her, you know what, I I want to be with you, like I want to commit to you, I want a relationship with you because I don't want to play the field anymore, you're the one that I want. So she was super, super excited. So if you're in a similar situation, like uh, maybe it's something that you can try, but yeah, I intend that uh, you will get that commitment that you want and you deserve because again, it's it's already yours, it's already created. So let's start with the video. So I wanted to talk about uh, persisting in uh, your affirmations, your your new mental diet, because I've had some people that are have been doing the work for a couple of months and they start getting frustrated, thinking that Erica, all the work that I've been doing, I've been affirming for months, but I still don't see anything. And I want you to know that even if you're not seeing any movement in your 3D, it's okay. It doesn't mean that you're doing something wrong, that you did all, all of that for nothing. I want you to know that all that you've been doing is making movement behind the curtains. Your physical eyes are still not seeing it, but there is movement. And I can give you an analogy. If it helps you, let's say that there's a, a treasure, right? Buried underneath the ground and you start digging the dirt, right? Like you're digging and digging, right? And you're eventually gonna get there, but I don't want you to like maybe dig, like let's say the treasure, it's like uh, five feet underground. I don't want you to like give up after two, two meters and you're like, yeah, no, that was for nothing. There's nothing there. No, it's there you just have to keep going and you will eventually eventually find that, that treasure, right? So it was not for nothing. All that work is it, it's paying off. It's the same thing with your affirmations. Is you just have to persist. You are making massive movements that you're still not seeing. But it's your job to persist. Remember, Neville used to say, you have to persist in your assumption until it hardens into facts. So do not give up. And also, I don't want you to start feeling frustrated because if you're frustrated, you're telling the mind, I still don't have it. And the mind will give you more evidence of you not having it, of you being frustrated. So I want you to assume like all this work that I've been doing is paying off. All this work that I've been doing, it made massive changes. I still don't see it with, with my physical eyes, but I intend to start seeing it with my eyes from now on. Right? And um, I've had several, several of my clients that have come to me. Um, after months of not talking to that specific person, they had no communication with their person. And after months and months of not uh, hearing from them, they were feeling kind of the same. So they will talk to me. I will be like, no, you have to persist no matter what. Like it, it has to happen. And when that person eventually came back, um, they said, like, I've been thinking about you like crazy. And like you you can see that there was movement the whole time that they were doing the mental work that person was thinking of them so it was not for like it was not in vain but when you say let's say that you're like oh yeah this didn't work i'm giving up then you're gonna get more evidence of yeah it didn't work right 
So your job is to persist no matter what. Believe that all the work that I that I've been doing and I'm still doing is making massive changes, but it's starting to show up right now. That's why one of my affirmations that I recommend you doing is uh they are showing me with actions right now that they love me or they're showing me with actions right now that, that they are super committed to me or they're showing me with actions right now that they're very loyal to me or they're showing me with actions right now that they love talking to me on the phone right i will give that the action <laughs> command because a lot of people they let's say that they're affirming yeah they love me they miss me they love me they miss me and guess what that person is loving them and missing them but you're not giving them the action because maybe you're still assuming yeah but they're kind of shy yeah i know but they're always busy so remember they have no free will they're thinking what you say they're thinking so if you think oh yeah they're just too busy they will be they will be thinking of you and missing you but they're too busy to to message you because that's what you're assuming so or like oh yeah they're very shy yeah no they're terrified of talking to me so guess what? They're thinking of you, they're missing you, but they're too shy and terrified of reaching out to you. No, give them the action. They're showing me with actions right now that they love me, that they adore me, that I'm their priority, that they're super committed to me, that they're madly in love with me, right? What is an action? An action is they're gonna knock on your door. An action is they're gonna call you on the phone. An action is they're gonna text you or they're gonna tell you, <laughs> yeah, I love you, you wanna be mine? <laughs> Right, so give them an action, but what I don't want you to do is to keep thinking that nothing is working. I must be doing something wrong. Because if you assume I am doing something wrong, then the mind will give you evidence that you're doing something wrong. If you think I still have a blog, your mind will give you evidence that, oh yeah, you still have a blog. Say, no, I'm doing everything perfectly. I mean, as long as you know that you've been thinking positive, right? Because let's say that you've been like, I don't know, maybe you're doing your affirmations once a day. You do five affirmations that are positive, but all day you're thinking negative. I mean, and it's, let's say that, let's say that, okay, I just do, I can only do my affirmations for five minutes. That's fine. As long as you have a lot of faith that by doing my affirmations for five minutes is going to work. But you know that you're not thinking the opposite, right? You're busy doing your things, but in my five minutes, like I'm I'm doing my affirmations, but I don't allow myself to think the opposite. If that's what you're doing, that's fine. But if you know that I'm doing my positive affirmations for my minute for five minutes, but all day I'm complaining about let's say that you want to manifest a relationship with that person, right? So you do your affirmations for five minutes. But all day you're saying, yeah, they don't like me. Yeah, they, they're they with someone else. Yeah, like they're not attracted to me. Yeah, like it's not going to work. Then which one do you think is going to win, right? So again, uh, don't assume that you have a block. Assume that all the work that I've been doing is paying off. And I also see a lot of people that say, well, it's difficult for me to think positive. Well, if you think that is you're giving an order to your subconscious mind, it's difficult for me to think positive. So the mind will say, okay, your wish is my command. It is difficult for you. So it's really easy. It's really simple, right? To like change it to, it's really easy for me to think positive. In the beginning, you're not going to believe it. But the reason why you're not believing it is because you're so used to telling yourself, oh, I always think negative. I always think negative. So... That's your indication that you have to stay there. So keep telling yourself, it's so easy for me to think positive. It's so easy for me to think positive. Eventually, it's not going to feel so foreign. And you're actually going to be like, oh, wow, it's actually really easy for me to think positive. Right? Remember, I believe it's just a thought that you keep thinking. And once you think and think and think, it's going to become a belief because it's going to start manifesting. And that's why it becomes a belief. So... In the same way that you start thinking, yeah, like thinking negative is so easy. I always think negative. Then it became a belief and that's why it became so easy. So you can change it. So thinking positive is so easy for me. 
and uh so yeah do not assume that the work that you've been doing is like it's in vain no there's always movement again i've had so many people that one once the the sp finally comes back they're like i've been thinking about you like crazy i think one of them even asked like did you do voodoo on me or something because like i can get you out of my mind so there is always movement behind the curtains okay um what else what they wanted to say oh so yeah something else remember that creation is finished and um let's say you want that relationship that relationship is already there you just cannot see it with your physical eyes it's always been there like let's see um let's say that uh, so this will be uh da, 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 da. this is your relationship right is there it's always been there so this is your assumption that uh, they don't love me they don't love me they don't care about me but that relationship is there it's always been there all you have to do is change the mindset for example they love me they adore me they are committed to me i'm super important to them right you're the one that is removing that that veil but your your relationship has always been there all you have to do is move that block out of the way for you to experience the relationship because the fact that you have that desire is because it's already there it's already created and it's just there waiting for you so you just have to remove the reason the mental reason why it's not there so if you're assuming i'm not good enough to be in a relationship or i'm always rejected or like they always ghost me or they never commit to me or whatever it is that is um uh, that is manifesting that lack of the relationship you have to, when you get that out of your mind and you persist in you being worth it in you being unconditionally loved in and your new um your new mental diet your new assumption of self then it's like you're allowing yourself to see that the relationship was already there created for you so hopefully that helped you but yeah i just want to empower you to let you know that nothing is impossible for you when you really put your mind uh like you when you give your everything to uh to manifest what you desire remember it's already it's already created you just have to persist and the the new state of mind of already having it of being worth it okay so hopefully this this video helped you i love you guys so much thank you for watching liking and subscribing and i'm intending that if you are in a similar situation that you will stop thinking that all the work you did was for nothing no it has made a lot of movement right like like you dig in through that through the dirt it's the same thing you did a lot of work that you're almost there just keep going okay i love you guys thank you for watching bye